Welcome to Kama Jojo Wild World. You'll find the most exciting praise and the best outdoor equipment here. If this is your first visit to our channel, you can subscribe to us. In my experience as a hunter over the past 12 years, I have found that studying animal migration patterns is essential. Therefore, I learned about the fantastic qualities of a trail camera. The use of a trail camera has helped me tremendously in gaining knowledge about the local wildlife. After I figured out how to use a trail camera, I was able to set up hunts that consistently produced good results. To begin, let's define a trail camera. An outdoor camera, or trail camera, is precisely what the name implies. Trail cameras with a PIR sensor allow for automatic recording, relieving hunters of the burden of toting around a bulky conventional camera. A trail camera is a device that can be left outside for long periods of time to record images of wildlife both during the day and at night. When the animal comes into the camera's field of view, the camera will automatically take a picture or start recording a video. Fast forwarding lengthy footage was a pain before I found this feature. Because it only takes pictures when it's supposed to, it saves space on your SD card. From my own personal experience, the most challenging animals to hunt are the shy ones. When they spot a foreign device, they panic and flee. Because of this, it is challenging to capture their behavior with a regular camera. Now, with the help of my trail cameras, I am able to photograph such creatures in the natural habitats, how trail cameras operate and everything else. After leaving your trail cameras in the wild for several weeks or months, hopefully you will find evidence of large bucks in the series of photographs and videos captured by the cameras. In that case, how do trail cameras function? For trail cameras to do their jobs, a few key components must be in place. Cellular trail cameras also feature photo sending in addition to power, PIR sensors, footage, and video recording. Batteries provide the energy for trail cameras, so they can function on very little juice. Nonetheless, the power requirements of a cellular trail camera change depending on the mode you're employing. Passive infrared PIR, sensors are the brains of a trail camera. The camera is activated when the sensors detect a change in temperature or motion directly in front of the lens. Once the sensor activates the camera, the camera will take a picture or series of pictures, or record a short video clip. The passive infrared technology can function both during the day and at night, when there is no external light present. To record during the day, the trail camera, like a smartphone's camera, analyzes the ambient light and begins recording at the appropriate exposure time. Here is an explanation of the nighttime operation of the cameras. Rather than relying on the PIR sensor during the night, the camera switches to the infrared LED mode. Any animal that moves in front of the lens is now meticulously documented using only the infrared filter. Black and white images instead of color ones are produced because of the limitations of the technology. The animal's eyes light up thanks to the LED. Maybe you're wondering if the nighttime shots really turned out that well. Yes, trail cameras have infrared emitters that allow the device to take high quality pictures even when the light is poor, like at night. Most modern trail cameras have infrared LED technology, which allows for greater night vision range. The object, the animal, is illuminated by your trail camera's flash or glow, but neither are visible to the naked eye. If there is no sunlight, this is how trail cameras function. Finally, trail cameras store data on removable media like SD or micro SD cards. All recorded media is kept in this location. Every time I check my device, I can see all the recent photos and videos taken. Tutorial, downloading pictures from your outdoor camera. You can check out your trail camera footage and photos in a number of different ways. In my experience, the only conventional way to get the pictures from a trail camera is through the camera's micro SD card if you have not connected the camera to a cellular network. However, there is a catch. You need to physically go to your camera to retrieve an SD card, connect it to an SD card reader, and retrieve the photos. When I take my trail camera out of the woods and want to look at the pictures, I usually just pop the SD card into my computer's memory card reader and look at them on the larger screen there. To access and save images from my trail cameras, I use a dedicated viewer app. Wireless trail cameras allow you to view images on your smartphone and transfer them to your device via Wi-Fi. Should I replace the battery right away? Three months of battery life was a problem when I first started using trail cameras. Nonetheless, I picked up tricks over time that continue to assist me in prolonging the battery life of my camera. 
the best decision I made was to incorporate a second power supply. It's possible to power a trail camera with disposable batteries, but I prefer to use a solar panel. A power port is available for just such an attachment. Because of the substantial power requirements inherent in a trail camera's use of seller services, I'm looking into purchasing a dedicated power plant for my camera. To what extent should you check your camera? Thanks for your time. You can subscribe to us if you like what we do.